What is going on guys? I am back again for another G Fuel video guys and today in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to make G Fuel the right way. Now, you know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, people that make G Fuel and they maybe fill the cup up, you know, maybe too little or, you know, they put too much powder. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to make it the right way. So let's get started. Now for filling up the water, you always want the level of water to be at the 16 oh yeah also you you want a shaker cup if you can you always want a shaker cup so yeah if you see there's the 16 you always want to fill the water up to about the 16 level you can fill it up to 12 but you know to get the perfect powder that i'm going to be showing you guys today you want to fill it up to the 16th level right there i don't know if you can see that and on this side it is the 500 number right there so let's fill that up with water i have my water right here so i'm just gonna fill that up to that 16 mark or that 500 mark a wonderful water now with water you guys can use any water that you want it doesn't have to be purified that's the thing about g fuel you can do whatever you want with your water so yeah um so it's about to the 16 mark I don't know if you guys can see that. You see, it's like right there on the number 16. So that's like where you want it to be at. Now, with pouring the G Fuel, I got my Raging Gummy Fish today, by the way, guys. It's freaking delicious. Um, so, you know, people... So, you know, this top piece that cones off... Sorry, mine's like a bit dirty. But this top piece right here that, like, cones off, that's for water bottles. And some people like to take that piece off. And some people like to leave it on. Personally, for me, I like to leave my piece on. But you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want with that. So, I'm going to scoop this up only until the first line that's right here. The line that's right here, you want to only fill it up to there um, of G Fuel. Um, so, yeah, if you can see there, I have almost, it's like right there up to the line, as you can see. So, and then what you want to do is just pour it in there, just like that. Oh, yeah. Delicious Raging Gummy Fish. All right, so now that you have it poured in there, I kind of made a mess on my table. I'm um, just going to put the tub right here. Uh, right here for display. Perfect. So now what you want to do, now that your G Fuel powder is in there, now what you want to do is you just want to, you know, close it up really tight because you don't want to get any spills. Spills are really bad. And you want to shake up to like for 45 seconds. I think it's like 30 seconds to 45 seconds, like 20 seconds to 45 seconds, somewhere around there. So I am going to do that, and then I'll check back with you guys once this is all mixed up. Okay, guys. Um, my G feels all shaken up. Um, now I also wanted to point out, you know, obviously I've said this before, when you when you're drinking G fuel with milk. It's always going to be more foam. It's going to be more foamy, so it's going to be harder to shake with uh, foam. But I'm just, you know, using water like I showed you guys. And it's not that foamy, so it's really good. But, I mean, there obviously is still going to be some foam. So I'm going to open it up. Wow, did you guys hear that amazing pop? Hold on, let's, let's run that back. Oh, that wasn't a good pop. Hold up. Let's see if we can get that good pop. Eh, first one was better. All right. Um, Yeah, it's that's basically how you do it. I'm going to drink it now because... Thirsty. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so to wrap it up, yeah, that's basically it. That's how you make G Fuel the right way. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out a whole bunch. Um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for all the support that you've been giving me on this channel, giving me all the views and stuff. And I'll see you guys later.